Hi everyone, in the previous video tutorial we have seen what, uh, what is SPI uh, and how uh, we can estimate this SCPI index. In today's video tutorial uh, I will show you how we can determine this SCPI using the SPI generator Lab Studio and Excel. So uh, first I, I want to show you using the uh, SCPI generator. First of all you need to uh, download this SCPI program which is freely available for uh, Windows. So this is the, the link for uh, downloading this SCPI program. You can uh, download both the program and the documentation. So uh, after you download in the uh, SCPI generator the setup, then you need to extract. So you extract software, you will get this code file, executable uh, folder, sample input and sample output. Open this one. Yeah, this is the setup. Open this uh, setup. Open. So this is a standardized precipitation uh, index generator. This is a graphical user interface. So I will type the uh, Manzli. Click Manzli here. I can prepare my data. In the way of the sample inputs, open the sample inputs folder. I want to show you, uh, you uh, how I can uh, prepare my input uh, data in text format. So space delimited Manzli uh, text. So I use the space. Then open this one. The default station this is a year, this is a starting point one, and this is a precipitation rows. So I have to change uh, this text to my uh, data. So my data is here. Copy this one. In such a way, you can uh, adjust your input data for this uh, program. Change the starting point here 1981 to change this one. Delete. Then change this one to the starting point of view uh, using here. Starting here, this is space as it is. Then uh, one click here, paste your data, position data. I can change uh, this number. Position one can use in such a way. I save us data for this video tutorial folder. Open this one. Space delimited uh, monthly change. Can give us the name in the data. Okay, save. This is uh, the data input uh, we have already prepared for uh, this uh, SPI generator program. So, uh, after we uh, selected uh, the data type, we need a way to also uh, select the data delimiter. There are options, space, tab. So, our input data is in space delimiter. So, click here, space. The next step uh, will be the uh, input option. Uh, adding our input file and this is the directory click this one to add your uh, we have previously uh, prepared x file so this is this is uh, the data we have already prepared click this one so open this one uh, after we uh, adjust this input option then we go to uh, output option we need to uh, select the application type as elements uh, for uh, our time scale, we need to select necessarily uh, time scale. The first one, one month time scale, the third, or third, third month, six months, or nine months, and twelve months, and uh, 12, 24 months. You can select uh, time scale accordingly. So here there are options use comma, decimal, separator use international data format, uh, output, load period, and output uh, frequency. So uh, I want to select output load periods and uh, output uh, frequency. I want this one also in my output folder. So I want to save the uh, program's output file as a uh, space delimiter or command and with option. Start options. I want to uh, select this one. Next, my output uh, file will be uh, displayed in Excel. The final step will be uh, selecting the output in location that's the directory click this one here desktop okay here open this one okay data for this video tutorial this is the output file location then finally click uh, generate so the result uh, is saved to uh, this folder this is a result uh, menu so click ok 
of the clause. In this case, we can determine the CPI index using the standard classification index generator. Now uh, we can uh, see our file, output file that is for this folder, data for this folder. These are uh, put, uh, files for various time scales, drought period, drought frequency, and the monthly uh, monthly CPI values for various time scales. This is uh, the final, uh, the main uh, output of the program. Okay, this one. For this case, uh, this is uh, our CPI values for uh, various time scales that is for uh, 1 month, 3 months, 6 months, 9 months, 12 months, 24 months. So, uh, for this case, negative 99 means uh, no data. So, we get this one. Get this one. Get this one. This are the CPI. Uh, Values okay. California. These are values. In such a way, you can uh, obtain the CPI values. There is also a uh, load frequency uh, for uh, time scale of one, one month, three months, six months, uh, nine months, twelve months. So let's open this one. The model also calculates the frequency of droughts uh, and the percentage and also the ranking of those type uh, can uh, calculate in such a way so uh, select to it time scales that is the other is drought period for the time scale of one month there is 1.5 and it is 1.5 the duration to start editing uh, there is also the drought period the duration is two months there is a peak value of the load. Uh, the set was the average the media. And so the money will be able in such a way. Uh, thank you very much for this video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching my uh, video tutorial. I will continue how uh, we can determine also using uh, Microsoft Excel. Thank you very much.